It was at that point that the breaking news came in that the plumber has not been cleared. Apparently, he did not pass his bar exam for plumbers. Uh, no, he wasn't medically cleared because the guy that wasn't supposed to win the title from him but did and dropped him on his head and gave him a concussion two weeks ago, he still can't wrestle. So now, the aforementioned guy who dropped the guy on his head will defend the title that he wasn't supposed to win against the trained chimpanzee that the plumber beat for the belt to begin with. In order, people think in order for him to win it back from him, that the whole idea of Moxley winning the belt from Orange Cassidy was for Orange Cassidy to get over more by winning it back from Moxley. That wasn't the end of Orange Cassidy. What? Yeah. No, I thought that I thought the idea was to put the belt on Moxley to start making it actually legitimate in some description because at least Moxley was a main event fucking name wrestler and that's where it would stay. And then when idiot Felix dropped him on his head and then they had another 10 minute match and then Moxley said, "Oh goddamn, just beat me." I figured that because they booked this rematch, they would put it back on the plumber because that's where it was still supposed to be to begin with. Right. I think with him eventually dropping it back to Orange Cassidy. Who the what Are you out of your fucking mind? They were going to do that? Why the fuck would anybody do that? Because, I mean, <laughs> for the kind of people who like the plumber, that's the kind of thing those people like. Why would you ever have him do a job to the fucking mascot? Why are you waiting to the last minute to, I mean, they were still announcing that match. I mean, for days in advance, obviously, but up to the show, into the show. Why? I mean, you didn't know he wasn't well, going to be cleared? I guess Doc Sampson went back there and dangled a pocket watch back and forth in front of his eyes or Gave him a breathalyzer. I don't know how they fucking test people to see if they're medically cleared from being dropped on their head by a fucking idiot. All right, you seemed good yesterday. How you doing today? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing even... Where are we at right now? Just, if you can narrow it down to the fucking county, we're okay. Cincinnati. Very close enough. You left there this morning. So, but... But basically what they did... Was they then booked, as I said, they've gone round, round the ring around the rosy with this thing. And so Pockets takes the place of Plummer against Felix. And obviously, it, it they started the program with Brian Danielson versus Swerve Strickland in, and I never used the word great. I don't know if it was an all time classic, but I think it's the best match given the most time and most professionally orchestrated amongst the programs of the night, but they start with them, and 30 minutes later, it's a chimpanzee against a Mexican made entirely out of potatoes. They've gone full outlaw against the biggest stars in the goddamn industry on the other channel. So, did you... I'm, I didn't watch this, but as I was fast-forwarding, Brian, did you see the greatest spot of all time? Because it was one of those deals, on, even on Fast Forward, you go, wait a minute, hold on, what, what the fuck did they just do? No, I didn't watch any of this match. Okay, well, I'm going to describe the greatest spot. It was, I watched it in slow motion 15 times. It was one of the, you know how you get the ones where you just can't stop, right, seeing it? So, Felix has rocked pockets with something and Pockets is staggered over next to the ropes. He's leaning kind of next to the ropes, and he's staggering, he's woozy. So Felix jumps up on a top rope on the turnbuckle, and he's going to do the thing where he runs the tightrope walk. He runs down the top rope, and apparently going to just soccer kick uh, Pockets in the head, right? Well, he jumps up on the top rope, and old Pockets is standing there, and he can see him coming out of the corner of his eye. So when Felix runs down the top rope, he throws his right foot to kick Pockets in the head. Well, Pockets apparently 
either has had a bad experience with that in the past or mistimed something or whatever, because not only did he put his right arm up like he was going to, you know, just have that protection in front of his face to block it, but also he just finally at the last second said, fuck this, and ducked away from it, just like turned like, I don't want none of that. And fucking Felix, his kick went completely over fucking Pockets' head. Because Pockets is already like selling it like, oh my God, I've just got hit. And he's turned away. And so Felix swings and hits nothing and loses his balance and is coming off the top rope into the ring. And with his left knee, drives it into the back of Pockets' fucking head and neck, boom, on the way down and drives him into the goddamn mat. And they both fell in a fucking heap. And the kick missed his head by like two fucking feet. And they, uh, but the knee didn't. I was convinced that may have given him brain damage. If you still have that on your DVR, go back and watch that unfold. It's fascinating. And then Pockets won the belt back. Thank you for coming, Felix. So now they're back where they started from except that one of their top guys has brain damage. In four weeks, they they are back where they fucking started from, except one of their fucking top talents still has lingering brain damage. Well, I didn't watch it, so I can't add too much. I am pulling it up right now on my computer so I can see the spot. It was just within a minute or so of the bell. Okay, he's on the rope now with the belt. Hold on, fast forward 30 seconds. They are chopping each other. Felix with a chop. OC with a forearm. They're going back and forth. These look like pillows. Oh, wow, Orange Cassidy's really laying in nothing. <laughs> so he lays in nothing, and the other guy just... Oh, there's a pretty nice firm clothesline from Felix, Mexican wrestling <laughs> star... <laughs> there is a bunch of mat work into oh he's selling his back and orange cassidy is going to use that to throw him into the ropes he turns around and i don't know what kind of miscommunication happened there he's on the rope oh yeah wow what the fuck was that <laughs> what was that hold on i gotta rewind it <laughs> what just happened there he was throwing that kick, and Pocket said, fuck it. I'm going to sell it before it gets here and get the fuck out of the way. No, but even right before it, it was like there were some, there was some kind of issues. Oh, well, yeah, before that, they didn't know what they were doing either, but this one was... Here we go. That he, was, he's doing it again. He goes to the rope. He's running. He's going to go do the kick. <laughs> he also like does a 360 Orange Cassidy as he goes down. Yes, because, well, it, partially he was being driven by the knee in the back of his head. All right. Mm. I like it. Anyway. You know what? I'll watch Ray Felix's Matt Ray Felix. Ray Phoenix's matches every week if he's just going to be out there doing shoot moves. <laughs> <sighs> and of course, in this one, Pockets somehow emerged unscathed. 